What's up guys, it's Beast and welcome to episode 2 of my money printer coding series. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make the money spawn inside the printer. Uh, instead of having it like uh, spawn a money prop or a, uh, you could also call it a mon uh, money entity. So we're going to open up the three files we worked with uh, last time. And that is clinit.lua, init.lua and shared.lua. And we're going to start off in shared.lua and in here we're going to add in a new networked variable. We do that by adding in... Uh, as self network var and then the first value we need is the type of variable we're going to use uh, and since we're going to use a number value uh, we're going to use an integer so the uh, short for integer is int so just type it in like that in a string uh, and then the next value we need is the slot we're going to use uh, this one on and since there's already an integer on slot 0 then we're going to use uh, slot 1 so now the last value we need is the name of this uh, variable uh, and I'm just going to use money, the big M, and that's because I can then use um, self get money like that like here and self set money. I think that looks pretty nice but you can of course uh, use whatever name you want to. Uh, but yeah, just save that and now we're done with that. So now move on to the cell in it .lua file and that is um, in this file where we'll make the sign. So we're going to display to the player uh, how many money that is inside the printer. So first off we need to define a variable um, to the money so we can actually display it on the printer. So we're going to do local money is self get money like that but instead of just showing the number we're also going to use or not use but we're going to add something in front and uh, we're going to uh, add money and a dollar sign in front so like this so open up a string right here and enter in two dots so we can use both the string and the variable in our um, variable uh, value right here so we're going to type in money is and then we need a dollar sign like that and then we need to do like uh, they do with the other ones uh, so the width of the text right here so we're gonna copy and paste that uh, change text width 2 to text width 3 and we also need to change the variable out here from owner to money so now you can just go ahead and copy this draw uh, word box enter it in below change the text width uh, 2 to text width 3 and uh, change the owner to money so like that and then we also need to change the y position so if you plus 30 with 18 you'll get a 48 and uh, since this one is already at uh, 18 18 uh, you can then plus 48 with 18 and then you'll get 66 uh, so if you want the same spacing for all these uh, three bars uh, just type in 66 and you'll get the right spacing so now that is done, and if you go in game, you can actually see here if I just spawn it in right now, uh, the silver print right here, you can see there is now a money field right there. Um, so now we just need to do the server side code, uh, and the first thing we have to do is go down to the create money back function down here, uh, and you can see here there is a function called dogp dot create money back. Uh, we don't want this money back anymore, so we're just going to comment this out. Uh, and instead, we're going to uh, set our custom variable in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in self set money. Uh, and since we want to add, oh, uh, add an existing um, or add an amount to its existing value, we're going to do is uh, self get money. So we get the amount of money and we plus that by the amount. So every time, uh, every time. Um, the printer spawns money, it will get the money uh, it already had uh, and plus that with the amount. You could also just change the amount to 500 like that, uh, but I'm just going to use a variable like that. So now we've done this function and now we need to add a custom function. So before uh, it spawned in a money back, so you did not have to uh, click E on it or anything like that. So we need to make a new function and this function is called function. ENT use. Uh, one of the values uh, we get is the player, so apply, uh, and we also need to remember to end the function right there. Uh, so now what we can do is first off check if there is actually money in the printer. So we can do that by taking uh, or making an if statement. So if self um, get money, 
alpha is higher than zero, then end. So if the amount of money in the printer is lower than zero, or lower or equal to zero, then we'll just ignore it. Uh, because we don't want um, the player to just hold E on it and get a lot of notification and stuff like that. So first uh, thing we're going to do is add the money uh, to the player's um, player wallet. You can see right there. And we do that by using one of the dagger P functions. And that is apply, uh, add money. Uh, and then we just need the amount of money we actually want to add to the player's, um, uh, player's wallet. And that is self get money so like that now the player will get the amount of money we uh, specified here and that is the uh, amount of money that is in the printer so the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to reset um, the money in the printer so we do that by self set money zero so now we are pretty much done with this and you can see it already spawned in money so if you just wait here a few seconds um, for it to spawn, it should take about 30 seconds. You can see that this um, zero right here should um, change to 500. Uh, and when I click E on it, it should add to my wallet. So let's just wait a few seconds here. I'm not sure if I made the timer fail. Might have done that. So I'm just going to respawn it right here. Uh, respawn the money printer right there. And it should take 30 seconds, um, I think so, let's just wait a bit. And you can see that it's now starting to spawn money, and you can see the amount changed to 500. And if I now click E on it, you can see that it will add to my uh, wallet. Um, but we might also want to give the player a notification that he actually picked up some money. And we could do that by using, again, one of the dagger P functions. And that is dagger P dot notify, like that. Uh, then we need player, so that is ply, uh, and then we need a um, message type. Uh, I can't really remember the different values for uh, the different icons, but you can play around with this. Uh, I'm just going to use zero for now. Uh, you can just change it like one, two, three, four, five, or something like that. Um, you can just play around with that. That's kind of um, your own choice. Then the next value is uh, the time we want the notification to stay on the screen. Uh, and I'm just going to make it stay on the screen for like 10 seconds. Uh, then the last value is the message we want to display on the screen. So I'm going to add in like you took dollar uh, two dots. Uh, and then we're going to add our variable here. So that is self get money and dot dot and start up a variable, uh, variable again. Uh, and then from the printer like that. And then if we now go ahead and click E on a printer. It will display down here, you took $1,000 from uh, the printer. So, yeah, I think that's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.